Hi right, guys, welcome to Switch. My name's Andy. Uh, today I'm just going to go through a generic warm up that you can stick in front of any kind of workout that you're going to do. It's going to involve in some. Um, it's going to involve in some foam rolling. Um, going to again go on some mobility drills and maybe get the temperature going a little bit just before any workout that you do. Like I say, it takes about 10 minutes, not that long really. Something you definitely should put in front of every workout. So to start off with, I'm going to show you some foam rolling movements. Okay, so when you set yourself up with the foot on the foam roller, you're just going to start with, you're going to roll against the IT band. Okay, so we go out from the hip right down to the knee. And what all we're going to do is get your balance first. It's quite tricky at sort of when you, if you've not used it before. And all we're going to do is just some slow, long passes. So from the hip all the way down to the outside of the knee. So we just roll. If we find any pressure points, anything that feels a bit tender, just add a little bit of movement to it. Just hold that. Just hold that position, breathe it out. That's it, and just roll again. So all we're doing really is just releasing all that tight tightness in the muscle before we start our workout. So we don't want to spend too long on this, probably about 30 seconds each side. And then we change. If you've not used this before, make sure you've got a really good balance. Make sure you've got, you're holding quite a lot of weight yourself at first, then increase, just adding more weight on, onto that leg. So again, we'll start at the top, some long passes. Again, just find that tight spot. You can tell it's a tight spot because it hurts a little bit. It feel quite tender. All it is just built up scar tissue from prior work. I'm just going to give a little bit of movement there. Okay, and just keep rolling. 30 seconds is enough. You know, if you feel that like you're still a little bit too sore, it'll, it'll get easier over time. But again, from there, what we're going to do is we're going to tuck. I'm going to hold the foam roll at an angle. I'm just going to lean onto. So I'm going to tuck that into your groin. And all we're going to do is just going to roll into the adductors. So again, what I like to do is I like to go from the groin, cross about halfway down my quad. And then from there, change my position a little bit and go from halfway down my quad to the inside of my knee. Okay, let's change over. Get nice and tight into that groin. Change my position. Get right into that. So again, just concentrate on those tender points. If you get to a tender point, just hold, breathe it out, just roll. Okay. Well, from there, I'm just going to place the quad. So you're just lying straight onto it like that. So it's going to be flat onto the quad area there and again just roll so what we're doing now is just getting some pressure into that quad loosen up the hip flexor so again just find a little tent find those pressure points and just hold Change. So 
So notice that I've got my forearms and my right foot taking a little bit of weight as well, just to give me a little bit of movement and balance so I can move a little freely. But most of my weight is on this leg that's on the roller. So again, you can take pressure off or increase the pressure as you get more used to using it. Just really get into that hip flexor there. Just loosen off. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we'll put that to one side now. So we're just gonna get the ball. Now for this one, it's pretty much quite easy to use. You can't really get this one wrong. So we're gonna put that on the floor. This is where we see what your pain threshold's like. Left over right. We're gonna put that glute onto the ball and just go to town in it, just roll around. Like I say, you can't get this one wrong really. You probably find lots of soft areas. Just find that, just grind it out. Just breathe. Continue rolling. Glutes are a very, is a very large muscle that, that takes up a lot of the work, especially when we're doing lower bodies and workouts. So it's quite important that you spend quite a bit of time on this. Again, quite a lot of pressure points, a lot of soft spots. Okay, and then change over. Like I was saying before, if you want to take some of the pressure off, the standing foot and your arms can take a little bit of weight off there. As you get a little more used to it, your pain threshold gets a little bit higher. And a little bit more pressure on there. Okay, good. So we're done with the rolling. Just part to one side. Okay, so like I said, we've done with the rolling, done a bit of SNR. I'm gonna put into a little bit more dynamic now, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of mobility. So for this one that we're gonna do is we're gonna do rollouts. Into sits. So let's come wide apart, it's gonna lean into it. So each time try to go a little bit further, don't try and push too far, because I don't wanna pull anything. Like I said, this is a warm, what not the workout. Take it nice and easy at first, depending on your range of motion. So nice and slow at first. Try and go a little bit further each time. Okay, and then from there, like I say, it is a warm up, so we'll try and keep it quite fluid. So hands and knees, we're just gonna kick back, 10 on each side. So we don't want big long pauses between, we switch in between uh, each exercise. Just keep the body moving, and then we change. So you want it to let go straight out at this point. You don't want it to go up like that. Let's go straight. Okay, what we're gonna do now is some knee rotations. Just gonna rotate that knee into circles, going bigger and bigger and bigger. Really get a full range of motion in that hip. And change. If you notice that my body's not going, it's not swaying all over, keeping it nice and still. Okay, and then from there, I'm just gonna start off with the left leg at the front. And what we're gonna do is gonna switch into like a jump into a switch. So from there. Okay. 
Okay, and then from there, I'm going to go into, I'm going into mountain climbers. It's a nice straight body, knees staying low. And then from there, it's jumping jacks at the back. Okay, so we're going to get into that standing position now. So from there, we're going to do seal jumps, which are going to cross your legs and your arms at the same time. So we're just going to do 10. And then from there, into side jumps. And then from there, into high knees. And then from there to kicks. So we put kicks there. Okay, we'll slow it down. So there's a little bit of range of movement now for the shoulders. Just gonna turn out to the side, twisting your hips. Right foot just twists, goes onto your toe slightly. And you stretch across. So you can tell by my breathing now. We're breathing a little bit heavier. Body should be warmer, should feel more supple. And stretch to the top again. Putting that hip twist into it. Lifting that toe off the floor slightly. Last one. And then we're done. Okay, so just from doing that little short work, that little short warm up alone, you know, first of all, your body, your temperature's higher. You're breathing a little bit faster. My hips feel loose upper body feels loose. Feeling pretty good for a walk, for a workout now. Stick it in the front of any workout. So any of these videos that you see on Switch, if anyone wants to do a warm up, do something similar to this, or something that one of the other trainers have done. Like I say, it only takes 10 minutes. Prevents injury, stops you feeling a bit more stiff after the workout as well. Otherwise, just get it done. All right, so thanks. I'm Andy at Switch, I'll see you next time.